you've got a great note today on Apple. Man, I mean, you, you ask whether uh, it's about FANG, whether it's just about Apple underperformance. And your general take is for those who are licking their chops at these lower prices, uh, not so fast. Yes. I mean, look, what, what we're seeing in the marketplace to some degree is what went up spectacularly is coming back down. And Apple appreciated 81 percent uh, last year. It's multiple expanded 51 percent. So earnings were good. But really, the, the majority of the gains were due to multiple expansion. And the stock entering the year was trading at a five-year high for its multiple relative to the market. And you know, now we have a, an environment where rates are rising, investors are, are, are wondering what they should do. And in Apple's case, you know, the valuation is elevated. Um, many people were anticipating a strong cycle. We've had that strong cycle. And, and the question is, what's next? Um, and given that the stock is relatively uh, um, still remains elevated in its valuation and there isn't an obvious near-term catalyst, it's unclear whether the stock is a candidate to un, to outperform in the near in the near term. Right. Um, to the degree that that the company can earn their way back into better graces, as you point out, people have hopes about a, a revolutionary phone or VR. I see some other reports today saying a car is really just too far out to put in the model. What would be next if in terms of a, a driver for, for growth or earnings? Well, I think, um, you know, there are a few things that could happen. You never know when Apple might come out with a surprise or revolutionary product. The iPad was, was no one suspected it. It was truly a surprise offering. Um, so you never know what Apple might come out with. I think, you know, more, um, more structurally, if Apple were to show that its gross margins, which historically have been pressured, might stabilize and go up because of the mix shift to services, you know, that could be positive for the stock. If the company was able to bring to market sort of integrated products and services and make the company more subscription-like, that might help. But for now, you know, I think investors are sort of saying, great cycle, stock's relatively expensive, um, and, you know, the company's really benefited in its Mac and uh, iPad business from COVID. And so, you know, that business sort of a year from now may also be challenged to grow at the same rate. So there, there really aren't the catalysts uh, right now for the stock. And I think that's, that's a big driver for why you're seeing relative underperformance here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.